Hey everyone, it's Irene and I have a project I'd like to share with you today. These are um, book pages from altered books that I make and I have stacks and stacks of these book pages as we all do, uh, at least the ones who make junk journals out of altered books. We tear out the pages and you, you feel like, what should we do? I do my mixed media on here, I paint these, I make flowers out of them, but I also make pockets, text spots, envelopes, and I just want to show you some of the pockets I've been making. And I have quite a few of them here on hand just to show you. And I have more over here in this box. Quite a few of them. And um, I want to show you how I make them so maybe you guys can try your hand at it and integrate them into your junk journals, planners, diaries, uh, all kinds of little projects. Uh, I also have ones with dangle beads on the bottom and those are drawing so I'll show those in a later date but these are really fun and what this is is it's a triple tuck pocket so here's one here's one and then on top here is a pocket so one two three and then I just decorated and I use these uh, gemstones from Hobby Lobby and this beautiful off fray trim really pretty I think this comes from Walmart and then this comes from Hobby Lobby this pink trim really pretty and then this off right also from Walmart really really pretty love that brand comes in different colors and I have quite a few of these on hand and I believe these also you can get Joann's or Walmart really fun to use at one time I think Michaels even sold them really soft and pretty and girly and I think that's it oh and then another thing I have some of these doilies that were gifted to me or I bought from um, uh, the paper bag lady Julie's store I don't think she sells them anymore so I'm, I'm really blessed to have had some of her um, doilies that she's cut up but you can also get these from Daiso which is a Japanese dollar store, $1.50. And these came from Daiso. I'm just trying to use up stash I have on hand and of course the book pages. So let me just show you really quick how I do this. So let me make some room here. And see if I can get it on camera. So what you do is any book page you have, you fold it lengthwise. So let me just do that real quick. Put that on camera. So you fold it lengthwise. And I do that because I'm going to open that first flap and this corner here, I'm going to fold it in and I pick a sentence that I can follow this edge on. So as I'm folding it, I'm looking for a sentence that I can put that bottom edge to the top of that sentence. And that will give me a nice straight triangle. I close that lid, take this tip and take it down to this middle here and fold that. See that? See the double tuck there? That's why you need that middle. Then you just fold up the back right up there. And I usually make this really quick. You don't have to be too precious about it. So there you go. And there's your double, the, the double tuck there. And now you'll know where to glue. And what I do is I glue this first. So I just put a dab of glue on this corner here and I close it, I shut this, put a, just a dab of glue here and close that. That can actually be a pocket here if you wish. And now that we have this, right? So then what I need to do is I'm going to put glue here. Just a really quick bead of glue, don't need to be too precious about it. Now that's shut and you still have this flap. And now you know where to glue. You glue from here. And you just put a bead of glue. Just press it. And now you need to go here. And then I just put it on the back of this. And then just close it up. And there's your triple tuck pocket. And you got your pocket here. Your pocket here and your pocket here and a secret pocket here if you wish but I've been decorating that you can still get in there if you really need to but there's no need for it the three pockets take place of the rest 
Now these gemstones come in a row and I already know that last two are not necessary so I cut that off like that. I just um, peel because these are peel and stick. Place that across my design and the other two that I cut off I put there so nothing goes to waste. This doily here was cutting half so I get double the amount I have on this package. Really pretty. And it makes a really cute little pocket inside any kind of journal. Let me just show you one that I'm working on. And um, I'll show you how that would work. So here's an altered book. I've done all my pages already, sewn in. This is a four signature little booklet that I'm making. And this would look really cute as a little pocket. And if you glue it down or sew it down, it can actually make it a fourth pocket or even a tuck spot, depending on how you glue it. But uh, it can be on anything, really. Let's say if you put it here. Isn't that pretty? I think so. So when you guys get a stack of your book pages, this is just one of the things that you can do um, is some of these little triple pocket tuck spots used in many different ways. Just love it. So thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope this tutorial helps you along the way. Love to see what you guys come up with. Hope everyone's having a great day. Take good care. Bye-bye.